I moved to Warsaw in 2011. Mm, I, was, I was not familiar with, with the city, but what's, what, what is strike for me uh, was this building, uh, inter, intersection of main Warsaw arteries, Aleje Jerozolimskie and Nowy Świat. Uh, this is one of these buildings uh, that are so monumental, they are in fact invisible for passerbys. All I knew about this bank um, was that it was one of few remnants of pre-war Poland uh, and that he um, guaranteed my student, student loan. So it was there, it was, wasn't a monument but still living institution. It also had this twisted retro logo. I remember it already, exciting me at the time, but probably only by twisted like its logo, my associations. Not, uh, not eight years passed, and I in, the, uh, in this building on job uh, interview uh, about uh, position in PR, um, but what I heard from my uh, interviewer that this bank actually had an historian. I thought in instantly, my God, dream job for me. Uh, in my gone days, I didn't start the history degree because uh, the practicality. Uh, I choose law, for, for example, for 80 years old uh, pragmatist history was not a prospect for, for life and not for uh, earnings, for sure. So bank historians could bring my hopes for the bare minimum wage a bit, a bit higher. So BGK, BGK had a historian uh, as an institution who was reactivated in 1989 uh, after 50 years of mar marginalization. Uh, it had to rebuild his history, reconstruct piece by piece, piece often by detective techniques, uh, I suppose there was no company in Poland at that time uh, which hired actually a historian. However, this particular bank needed its historical legitimacy more than others. At the time when state-owned firms was sooner or later became private, history for BGK was one of the few, um, few vehicles for underlining its uniqueness and uh, being a national heritage, in fact. So national heritage shouldn't be private. At least that was uh, hoped for. Perhaps another reason why BGK needs historians uh, and reconstruction of history was recovery of his pre-war uh, real estates, in fact, uh, like this monumental building in, uh, in the city uh, of Warsaw, which I mentioned. In order to that, BGK has very active in terms of organizing uh, anniversaries. Let me just tell you that between uh, 1989 and 2004, it's five, 15 years span, span uh, BGK celebrates uh, his anniversary six times. So it shows how it was a, a crucial thing and pulls for this organization. This is very import important for me uh, diagram. I call it uh, organizational uh, cardiogram, in fact, because it's, of course, employees at BGK, but it shows something more. It shows uh, how much people um, work in uh, particular periods of, of time, but it shows recovery and it shows resilience. Because as you see from 24, which it was established to 39, uh, it's constantly grow and its importance was higher and higher. Then occupation, the occupiers didn't shut the bank but uh, limited very, very narrowly. And this 3000 shows how much rebuilding was needed in, in this time. After that, Stalinism and, and communism uh, marginalize it uh, completely. There was no place for development and the banks in that time, but it was never liquidated. So because of its reputation and because of uh, his uh, good uh, image on the uh, international market uh, and finance scene, he was still um, formally existed, 
for, for the reasons to uh, repay, for example, the debts from the pre-war era. Uh, and then another uh, re revitalization and uh, uh, another uh, reconstruction after that, that time uh, economically. So from 90 uh, to uh, this era, it's another uh, rise to grow uh, with Poland and with uh, ev everyone. It perfectly shows how our continuity has been put to the stress test and how we build up more and more resilience each time. Uh, and what BGK does? One of the main tasks of BGK were uh, long-term investments, uh, very important in this continuous uh, context, which uh, Rector mentioned. Uh, long-term investments in industry and in uh, infrastructure. Part of industry at the time was in the state hands uh, from the strategic reasons and uh, state security. So one of these things was concern of BGK. The portfolio of strategic companies owned by bank um, employed more than 10,000 uh, people. It was 1.5% uh, of all working population uh, in Poland at that time. Uh, as a for long investments, the main example was the history of construction and development um, of Gdynia as a city and a port. Uh, it was the only city in our n narrow coastline which we have at that time. Um, from the fishing village uh, with several souls living in to modern city of uh, about 100,000 inhabitants, uh, um, to modern uh, Sorry, it begins from the scratch and goes to largest port on the Baltic Sea in terms of commercial transshipment since mid 30s. Another pillar of our activities was housing programs, and it's very important because it's balanced the development of economic and social one. Very important for our mission still. Um, so, what, what we do? Uh, support social uh, housing construction, of course. Uh, land parceling and support the local authorities in bringing infrastructure to the plots. Something which we don't have uh, in that era um, constantly. Financing cooperatives, uh, housing cooperatives, local governments, and for example, worker associations, uh, worker housing association, which depicts the first poster. Uh, finally, open field exhibitions. Uh, two posters uh, remains. Uh, open field exhibitions showing building te techniques to teach new way uh, of de developing modernist uh, affordable housing for private investors and middle class. One of the uh, prime examples, an iconic one, is from aforementioned Gdynia, the BGK tenement house. Uh, which was constructed in 1937. So, um, until my ar arrival at the bank, the history was recreated but by enthusiasts looking for reference to BGK in every possible source. I started my adventure with BGK from public relations, like I mentioned, uh, but in 2019, Mateusz Wierzbicki, aforementioned, aforementioned bank historian, retired. So I stepped into his shoes that I had to fill. But uh, this were my PR background uh, gave me different perspective than that of historian reconstructing and formal aspects of company operations. Firstly, I started to think about image um, and identity. Secondly, I had to think about marketing and communication. Thanks to Mateusz, uh, I knew how much uh, the employees appreciated his story and how much uh, meaning it's offered them. Through the stories he published in internal web, uh, they were able to delve in another dimension of their daily work, magical um, and timeless for them. I have inherited a large internal fan base but also large expectations. And for archives, as, a, as for the archival collection in accordance with Polish archival law, 
the state-owned companies in Poland, uh, we are obliged to transfer our archives to national archives called Archives of Modern Records, which we have represented on the, on the uh, whole. Uh, which uh, are rep uh, responsible for the preservation of historical legacy. As a result, I don't have constant uh, and on daily bas basis access to this uh, archives uh, collection, but at the same time, thanks to National Archives, uh, much more documentation has been professionally preserved than we would have been able to preserve our own, because uh, as well our term oil uh, history. In addition, our archives are public and every citizen slash researcher have access to them. So what we do with our archives? Firstly, we use history for archives for employer, employer branding. Uh, the training onboarding platform contains historical cases from which uh, the new employees deduce the organization mission and uh, values. Secondly, we teach it uh, to our management. We arrange several meetings between departments and retired executives. Uh, it helps them to build context and current activities and build resilience to obstacles uh, that have been encountered in the past. Another area of preservation is our heritage awareness. I was concerned that moving out from the historic building, which you see before, uh, for a few years for the purpose of modernization, would separate employees from the heritage and weaken their awareness of, of this heritage. That's why I scanned the uh, interior of this building in 3D model, and today reg regularly uh, we meet on virtual guides tours for employees, new employees uh, as well. Uh, these virtual guide tours are also offered to our partners and our friends from external. I also realized the order to maintain a coherent institutional memory. We need to create a vehicle that would preserve heritage across three generations of employees. To this day, I regularly record the memories of former employees and use it to internal communication. In order to communicate our heritage, we also expand the field of art and public spaces. Embedded in urban spaces, a mural in front of busiest of uh, metro station in Warsaw, central metro station, uh, highlighted our legacy uh, on the occasion of 95 anniversary and emphasized um, our patronage on the arts dating back to 19 and 20. For example, there is a pieces of uh, paintings of um, Zofia Stryjenska and uh, Jan Szczepkowski, the sculpture, uh, which we uh, patroned them in ba uh, back uh, pre-war uh, days. Lastly, whenever we can give the organized events involving the local community, by organizing the guided tours and opening to the outsiders the interior of our mon monumental building. The uh, activity right now is uh, paused due to ongoing renovation, but it was a very important feature of our heritage brand. Let me finish already with uh, one more story. Uh, I discovered due my um, archives research uh, that uh, in diaries of former um, employees uh, from pre-war era and after uh, the war, there was one particularly recurring theme. After the war, the free, first thing that the returning employees uh, of the pre-war BGK did was to organize a, bench, uh, a branch of BGK and resume bank operation. They don't go to their homes, they don't go to the, uh, any, any other places, they strictly go from the station to their um, branch of BGK. Uh, the build, and I feel uh, that building this branch might have lain, uh, uh, that, building, uh, that uh, starting this operation of BGK was so important for them because they didn't realize and didn't um, imagine even uh, normality after the war without uh, something like this mission of this bank and uh, starting the operation once more after the disaster. Mm. The building 
of these branches might have lain in ruins. They may have burned down, but BGK, BGK employees always find a way to reactivate this operation. Mm. The recurring team made me realize that I work in truly resilient organization uh, and that BGK resilience was about much more than the walls of the monumental buildings that fascinated me all these years ago. Thank you very much.